I just wanted to make one quick comment about how he is the only Republican candidate that doesn't want to like destroy every Muslim or ban every Muslim. Like the Republican Party <laughs> is full of so many lunatics that someone as right wing as John Kasich right. sounds reasonable. And that's that's a scary place to be. We've moved so far right that Kasich seems like the most reasonable person on the planet during town halls like this. Yeah. Yeah, and he also sounds more reasonable. I mean, still, I, I don't I don't agree with most of what he's saying. Right. But he not only sounds reasonable, he's also to some extent answering the questions fairly directly. That's exactly right. I mean, he's not dodging any of the questions he's answering. You're right, I disagree with him on a lot of things, but I at least respect the fact that he's being transparent about what his political views are. I respect the fact that he's thought about his political ideology and his policy ideas. Um, I Why think that says a lot about him as a Republican candidate because you don't see that among Republican candidates these days. Why do you think he's so willing to be publicly weak and not hate Muslims like that? I mean, that's not going to help him at all, right? With well, I the think that's part of the reason why he's not doing as well as someone like Trump is doing, right? right. Because the Republican or Party or Cruz, because yeah. the Republican Party is full of people that are constantly shitting their pants over Muslims, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so they want, they're scared, they've bought into the media propaganda, and so they want someone who's gonna be like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that, we're gonna build our military, it's gonna be a tremendous military, and it's, I'm gonna make good deals, and it's gonna be good. Many, many, right? many, many, many good many. deals. I'm gonna make many good deals, okay? Not bad ones, good ones. So you're I mean, saying- That's what the Republican Party is jerking off to right it now. Could, so it, could be, it could be that he's just not an asshole, yeah. And doesn't hate people simply because they're from a group that he's not part of. It could be that. I mean, Jeb Bush was also largely saying much the same thing about Muslims. It could simply be a pragmatic thing when they say we need them abroad to help us in the wars and we need them domestically to help us fight terrorism. <clears throat> they might just simply actually believe that. And maybe they don't personally like Muslims any more than Trump does, but they do think that they're very useful. Mm -hmm. But in any event, it's good that they're not demonizing an entire uh, community of people in America and around the world. Plus, let's be clear, he has to distinguish himself from the other candidates. So by mm -hmm. not being a psychopath, by merely being wrong, by not being a demagogue, <laughs> just merely being absurdly wrong about economic policy, he stands out. That's yeah. his brand. That not brand. being insane is his brand. I don't see it working for him, though. I don't either. It's but not, it's, it's, it's not. A, mm. he's but giving remember, it a shot. again, he, he literally can't, like, when we say that, that Cruz can't win the nomination, we mean he needs 80% of the delegates. That's impossible. He's not going to do it. It's it's possible, but he's not going to do it. Kasich literally can't win. If he got every single delegate from now on, that would not be enough for him to actually win. And so it really doesn't matter what the voters say from here on out, as long as he does okay and he seems like a reasonable alternative uh, to Cruz and to Trump, what he's playing for is the convention. Right. No and doubt. so he has Broken to seem like convention. a reasonable mm. person and, that and you can install as president. Who can get a few votes? Who can get a few votes? By the way, that yeah. is a compelling argument. I think 100%. Sure. His thing is if you don't get the nomination on the first ballot, then you might not be the strongest. We're picking the pre person who's going to win the general. That yeah. doesn't have anything to do with anything else except a party gets to decide who they think can yeah. win in the general. And it doesn't seem fair, but it is, that's the rule. That's and it's there's happened no before. Question, yeah, that's why they have it. In my mind, he'd be the strongest candidate in the general. He would. No doubt. Kasich no. would be the strongest candidate. He'd have a very good chance of beating Hillary Clinton. He would beat Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Right now, I mean, he polls way ahead of her. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if it would actually work out He doesn't poll against Bernie, though. He Bernie wins against him. Or I, they're within a point, but I think, I think Bernie wins. But uh, he's like eight points ahead of Hillary. In the yeah. Yeah. And look, he gets to go up there and he seems like he reminds a lot of rational Republicans like, wait, this is what our candidates used to be like. I can right. support this. They're not right. taking the GOP down a really scary road like Cruz and like Trump are.